Hey gang, Mr. Collins here trying to uh, teach you a little bit about uh, depreciation. So a couple of days ago, we looked at uh, exponential growth with money, right? Which grows exponentially depending on the interest rate. Now let's see what happens when we decrease exponentially. That's what depreciation is. So, you know, a great example is when you buy a car, uh, you know, the minute you buy it, it starts depreciating in value. The value of the car goes down, especially after you put some wear and tear uh, on the car. So imagine we purchased a, a new Jeep at $30,000 and it goes downhill by 17% a year. So let's set up just a little table here. Uh, I'll set up an XY table. Really, we should be, you know, it should be like time and money, but, you know, X will be my time unit. So you know, zero would be the original cost of the Jeep, which is, of course, $30,000. And then if we go down by 17%, I think you should think of that as maintaining 83%, right? So, uh, you know, one minus 0.17 is 0.83. So just like, you know, in, in the uh, money problems, it was always one plus. When you lose, it's one minus. So um, if you maintain 83%, then what do you have? You have 30,000 after one year, you're going to have the 30,000, but you're only going to have 83% of that. And it, you can quickly put that in your calculator. You get about $24,900. So you've already lost $5,100 uh, off the value of your car. And then this will just continue to go downhill, right? So now what do you have? You have, you know, what you had, but after the first year, you maintained 83% of it. The second year, you get 83% of that, right? So you multiply again by 83%. And of course, the better way to write this would be 83% squared. So that takes you down to a little over 20,000, 20,667. And then this continues, you know, for five years, that was in the warm up you know, be of course 30,000, 0.83 to the fifth. So now all of a sudden you're down to almost about a third of what you started, right? 11,817. And in general, if we want to write a function, right? I guess we should probably use F of T for time. It would be what, 30,000, the initial amount times 0.83, uh, raised to the power of the number of years. That's really the pattern that's been going on. Or in general, right, we want to generalize this, you know, so we can do other problems, not just Jeeps, but anything that goes up or downhill in value. So in general, you know, the amount you have is going to be some initial amount, which we'll call A sub zero, and then one plus or minus r um, to the t. So that's my initial amount. My handwriting's not so hot, huh? <laughs> and then plus would be for growth, you know, exponential growth. A minus would indicate exponential decay. In other words, we're going downhill. Of course, r is my interest rate. And T is a time unit normally in years, right? So if I did graph this just for fun, um, you're going to see that growth. Of course, I only really need the first quarter, right? Because years are positive and the money is positive. And I guess I should mark this off at 30,000. We're going to start there, right? And of course, uh, you know, after two years, I don't know, should we mark off two years right here? After two years, we're already down to uh, 20,000. After five years, we're at, uh, I don't know, 11,000. I'm just eyeballing this. I'm not gonna lie to you. Five years is 11,817. And you could see what's gonna happen, right? This is just a slow uh, decay, right? And of course, theoretically, this approaches zero although you'd sell your car long before that, right? Always that horizontal asymptote at y equals zero, right? You know, finally they said, well, how long until you're down to, 
um, ten thousand dollars. So I'll give you a different way to do this, uh, a way you wouldn't have accept, uh, expected. You could graph this in Desmos or on your TI eighty four. I'm going to change the color up, right? So you could graph uh, this function here, right? Graph it in there. You'll get this. Of course, you'll have to tweak your window to see this properly. And then you should graph the line y equals 10,000, right? So here's 10,000 right there, right? y equals 10,000. And then what can you search for? Yeah, you could search for this, your intersection. You could, you know, easy to do. TI-84 actually has some buttons to find an intersection, but you could easily just scroll over, zoom in to see where they hit. And that's a perfectly viable way using technology to do this. It shakes out here to be about 5.9 years. So how long until it's worth? Yeah, I just answered it. Yeah, 5.9 years. Pretty cool. Okay, that's a good place to stop for this video, but we'll make a couple more to finish this uh, worksheet out.